Martin here at Time and Space. Here I have Ableton's new Live 9. I'm just going to show you quickly how to import your own sample libraries into the new category bar. When you first launch up Live 9, you'll see that you have the ability to choose from your sounds, uh, drum kits, clips and samples that all come with Ableton Live. On your samples page, you simply highlight one of the audio files and you can demo it. Let's make sure you have your demo icon linked here. If you want to add any additional sample libraries from third party developers, you simply go down to the add folder function down here. This will launch your browser and allow you to have a look for the folder you want to add. If like us you have all your sounds stored on a sound storage drive, you can just add this main folder which will allow you to search through the folder structure inside of Live. If you want to add a specific library, like for instance Bigfish Audio's Wild West, I can select the Apple Loops folder here and click to open it. This then adds it to my places locations. When this spinning icon is going, it's just indicating that it's importing files into the browser, so make sure this is finished loading before you try and demo the sounds, otherwise you might not end up with everything inside your folder structures. Once that has finished spinning, you'll notice that in your folders, you should have all of your audio files available for you just to demo. Once you find a file that you like, just simply click and drag it into your Arranger window. Music